Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about whether I use the paper-like screen protector. And if so, what are my thoughts on it? Does it make a difference? And is it worth the hefty price tag that comes along with it? And so I thought I'd make a really quick video to address those questions once and for all here today. So what is the paper-like screen protector and why is it so special? Well, one of the things that a lot of people struggle with, including myself, um, when they start to use the iPad and the Apple Pencil, is the transition from pen and paper, which has a lot of friction, and we're used to that, to writing on the smooth, frictionless glass of the iPad screen, is a transition that a lot of us find really hard to make. And a lot of the times, it just leaves our handwriting looking just unbearable to look at. And I guess the paper-like screen protector was designed to address this issue. So it isn't just a normal screen protector that's designed to protect the screen on your iPad. It's got these little grooves in it. Um, I believe they're called grooves. And it's basically a matte screen protector that adds a little bit of friction and resistance to the tip of your Apple Pencil when you're writing on your screen in the hope to simulate a paper-like feel. And in doing so, hopefully, solving that problem that a lot of us have when we start using the Apple Pencil on the iPad. Oh, and by the way, it costs $59, and that is a significant amount of money to be paying for a screen protector. And I guess that's why people have been asking a lot of questions about it. So to answer the question, do I use the paper-like screen protector? No, but yes. And I shall explain. So when I got my iPad back in 2018, I really struggled initially with that transition to writing on the glass screen. However, I had no idea the paper-like screen protector even existed, and so I didn't get one. And I remember getting to the point where I realized that I had to completely learn to write again. And that would take time. But I was pretty committed to learning to write on the iPad. Being able to write in a legible way not only helps you, but helps other people. And so I spent three to four months consciously working on adjusting my handwriting. And slowly over time, I got used to writing on the glass screen without much friction. And I was able to get to the point where I could write with increased speed from where I was at the start. Um, and I also had legible handwriting. And I think it was a year after doing that when I discovered that the paper-like screen protector existed. In fact, I think I found out from a comment on my first YouTube video. And so I got one, I used it for a period of time, I talked to my friends about it. And so just before I share my honest thoughts, just remember that I got to the stage where I was happy and content with writing on the glass screen of the iPad before I started using the paper-like screen protector. I basically don't use the paper-like screen protector. However, it is a product I do recommend to friends and family who are struggling with the adjustment to the glass screen of the iPad. And so just to give you an insight into how I evaluated this, let's go with pros and cons. Let's start with pros. So I think overall, the paper-like screen protector does a really good job on delivering on the promise that it makes. The idea that it feels like paper. And I just have to admit, right from the start, first impressions, it just feels really good. It feels effortless. There is a sense of familiarity that comes from the additional friction that we're normally used to. I think as a result, it makes you just wanna write more. Now I noticed at a personal level that I had a lot more control when I pushed myself to write faster. Um, it also allowed me to write smaller, something I don't normally do because I tend to zoom in and write out my letters pretty large when I don't use a screen protector. And so even for someone like me, it did make a difference. And I think what speaks louder than that is when I showed it to some friends and family members, um, people who normally have hated writing on the iPad because it just feels so uncomfortable, a significant proportion of them actually enjoyed the experience and they said that they felt like writing more. And so just a few other pros to go along with that. Firstly, there is no glare. Because this is a matte screen protector and it isn't a smooth surface, it actually diffuses the light. And so you don't get those harsh reflections that we're normally used to on a normal screen. Secondly, another benefit of being a matte screen protector is there are no fingerprints. So that's one less thing to worry about. Thirdly, it goes without saying, it actually protects your screen so your screen doesn't get scratched. Fourthly, it actually sounds nice. I know some people who don't like the sound, but I personally like it. It sounds like pencil and paper, and I like the tactile feel. 
And finally, this is really important, when you purchase the Paperlite screen protector, you don't just get one, but two Paperlite screen protectors. And I remember thinking, why have they given me two Paperlite screen protectors? Can I just give one to a friend? And thankfully I didn't, because that spare Paperlite screen protector comes in handy and has a purpose, and I'll get to that. So those are all the positives or the pros, and I think if you just look at that list, that's a pretty compelling case as to why you should get this screen protector. But there are two cons that I think you should keep in mind that to me are pretty significant. Firstly, since it is a matte screen protector, when you have it on your iPad screen, it sort of makes you feel like your screen has a lower resolution. Now this is because the light refracts through the screen protector as it isn't perfectly flat. Now I know a lot of people out there who aren't bothered by this at all, but I find this really hard to ignore. Cause I really enjoy watching things, reading things, consuming content, browsing the web, on my beautiful iPad display. But yeah, I just think it's really unfortunate that because we're stuck with a matte screen protector, which it has to be by the way, that I can't change, um, that needs to have those grooves uh, to add that friction. Um, the screen protector makes the screen a lesser screen. And I remember one day taking off my first Paperlite screen protector of the iPad and being blown away by how incredibly good looking the screen actually looked without the screen protector. And it is a significant difference. Now the second con to be aware of is I use the Paperlike screen protector intensely. Um, so multiple hours a day for multiple days in a week for a period of five to six months. And at the end of that five to six month period, my experience with the Paperlike screen protector was worse than my first few months. And at one point I thought it was just me. I thought I'd become so used to writing on the screen protector that I didn't notice the difference anymore. But then one of my friends who'd been using the Paperlite screen protector for nine months told me they experienced the same thing as well. And I think it's because over a period of time, the friction that's inside the screen protector sort of wears out. Um, it gets scratched, I'm not sure if it gets flattened out or something, but basically the paper-like feel sort of disappears. Which is why it's great that they pack in a second Paperlite screen protector, because you can basically put on a fresh Paperlite after your old one has been worn out, and the difference is noticeable. So in terms of how long a pair of paper likes are gonna last you, I'd say a pair of paper likes are gonna last you 12 to 18 months. And the idea of having to buy a completely new paper like screen protector at the end of 18 months for $59 is what made that a significant con in my list. Some people say that the paper like causes the tip of the Apple Pencil to wear out or denigrate in some way. And yes, for me, it did a little bit, um, but it wasn't noticeable at all. Um, and just in case yours does wear out, um, you can buy replacement nibs for your Apple Pencil. Now, there are a few other brands out there that do sell matte screen protectors, which do provide friction um, at supposedly lower costs. Um, and I have tried, I think, two of them out um, because friends have had them. And I still think Paperlike has got the balance right at the amount of friction. If you're aware of a alternative screen protector out there that does just as good a job as Paperlike um, for a cheaper price, please uh, let us know in the comment section below. I, I personally would like to check that out. In conclusion, I personally don't use the Paperlike screen protector. And it's not because I think it's a bad screen protector. I actually think it's really nice to use, a great experience, I love writing on it. I write faster and smaller with the Paperlike screen protector. But for me, it's purely personal preference. I am adequate at writing on the bare iPad screen, but I really enjoy consuming content on the bare iPad screen in full resolution that looks great. And I don't wanna put a matte screen protector on top of that that reduces screen quality. And so I'm willing to put up with fingerprints, glare, and the lack of that additional friction in order to keep that optimal viewing experience. Now that just applies to me because I spent time learning to write on the bare screen of the iPad. And so I have no need for the Paperlike screen protector. I can still get by without it. But if you're someone out there and you've got an iPad and you've got to the point where you feel like giving up because making that transition from pen and paper to the bare screen of the iPad just seems impossible to you, then I would genuinely recommend giving the Paperlike screen protector a go. Because at the end of the day, it does deliver on its biggest claim of feeling like paper. And a lot of the times, that's what you need to get started. That's what you need to feel like you can be someone 
who can take notes digitally on an iPad. Um, and so kudos to them for making a great product. Once again, these are just the thoughts of one person and that person is me. If you have any other thoughts about the Paperlike Screen Protector, anything else you've experienced and you want to share that, please leave that down in the comments below. Um, in particular, how long the Paperlike Screen Protector has lasted for you. I'm interested in knowing that. And secondly, whether you know any alternatives to it that we should be aware of. Um, but apart from that, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time.